Hey YouTube, uh, UPS just stopped by, got me this package here. I wanted to open this on camera, show you guys. Um, I know exactly what this is, it's from brownell.com and um, just ordered some cleaning supplies for my AR-15 here and let me just open this up real quick. Brownell is a great website if you're looking for cleaning supplies or gun accessories. I mainly go on their website for just for cleaning stuff. Um, they have uh, two tabs on top on the website is Brownell and Sinclair.com and I think the other one was Police One or something like that. But when you go shopping for cleaning supplies, make sure you click on the each tab and search for your item that you're looking for. Because sometimes Brownell doesn't have it on their website, but it's on the tap on the other website so it's kind of confusing but I found all my stuff so let me get my um let me get my tactical knife real quick here and show you guys this extremely dangerous tactical knife just kidding see don't make fun of me that's the only thing I have right now I'm getting a bench made soon I'm not too sure which one so uh let me just open this real quick chop though up without cutting my limbs off. There you go. Let's see here. Got these fancy air bubbles. To make a I think you can I think these um I think they send these extra for me. You can make a life raft out of these like emergency life raft. It's a gift I think. You throw that on the ground. Here we go. First item. Oh, that's nice. It's freezing as cold too. Let me cut that open. KG12 Big Bore Cleaner removes copper. Now all these items I just have to add to this. Um, the all these items I. I um, because I'm still getting into you know AR-15 cleaning and all that stuff and I went to um, 68forums.com because you know I read a lot there and there's one post that mentions all the good products reliable products for cleaning AR-15 uh, and um, yeah I just went down the list and bought every item that was listed there and so we got the uh, KG-12 Big Ball Cleaner um, next I have some uh, Slip 2000 Gun Loop. It has a lot of great reviews on Brownell's website. So it's worth checking out I guess. Um, let's see what else we have here. We've got the Slip 2000 Gun Degreaser. Um, that's of course different than this one. And that's the degreaser. I'm not going to open this. I'm going to probably gonna open up later, but... Alright, moving on. All these goodies in here. I got some wire brushes. These are... Um, these are... I hope they are fit. I mean, they should fit. They um. I think these are two, 0.277 millimeter. Because sometimes um, it's, it's the same as the 6.8 caliber. Um, Sometimes you just can't find 6.8 stuff, so you just go with the 277. Um, those are the brushes. Got the uh, loops for the patches to run those through. They come in handy. I don't think I only got one of these, yeah. Well, why do you need more anyways? One is good enough. And the uh, cleaning rod stop. Now I was, I'm not too sure. Um, I got the large, and I, I don't know if I have a medium too. I got the large, so I hope this works. Because the here's the cleaning rod right here. So let's let's hope this fits on there. Not buy another one. Who cares? Um, I got this as a let's say chamber cleaning rod. I don't know if I needed this. Um. 
but I you know just purchased it anyways. It wasn't the it was on the list so it's uh, by Dewey and trust me they make the best cleaning rods. And these are from this this is made by Dewey too. I should have mentioned the manufacturers on the brushes too but anyways going right along here a cotton bore mop. It's very useful too and that's what caliber is that? I don't know if that's the right caliber. It says 0 0.22. That's 4556, five, but it says 0 0.22 to uh, 0.27, so it might just fit. Um, here we got Hops Bore Guy, uh, um, Bore Snake. Now I'm telling you this. I had a tough time finding. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, I have a tough time finding these in the regular stores around here. I'm not too sure why. Um, look around everywhere, and you know, usually it's just five, five, six. If you have a six point eight rifle, I'm telling you this, you're gonna have a tough time finding anything. I mean, literally, even ammo, hard to find. Um, that's, I guess, the downside buying a six point eight rifle. But um, thank God you got the websites like Brownell. They are. Uh, Got all that crap on this. Um, here we got a, the cleaning jack. See, all of this stuff says 0.277 on it. Um, on the website, it said 6.8, but you know, that's the same thing, so whatever works, you know, I don't care. And a rod guide. Now, this thing is bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> oh man, website showed it to be smaller than this, but. You know, whatever works. 6.8 SPC. Finally, something that says 6.8 on it. Okay, I got all kinds of crap. All kinds of crap I bought here. Some more Slip 2000 bore cleaner. This is the carbon killer. It is different than the other one. Let me. Yeah, it is different than the other one. Um, we'll see how this works. I'm gonna just follow the, the instructions step by step that was given to me on the 68 forums. Which, trust me, if you guys have a 6.8 caliber rifle, you better become a member there. And check out. Let me throw this, this box away. There's one more item in here. I'm not too sure what it is. There goes that. Um. Here we go, what a secret. Hops number nine solvent. You can get that anywhere. I think they even sell it at the uh, at Macy's. Yeah. Sell it, uh, this is, I just bought, I could have bought this at the store, but I figured, oh well, just you know, get it all in one bill. Now this one here, package two of two. I don't know, this is the cleaning rod. Now getting this open is going to be one freaking mystery. Tell you what guys, I might have to cut this video and open it up. As you can tell, this damn package is like, it's like seal proof. I don't know, dude. This is, a, okay, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I had to pry this chunk of metal, like a hubcap, out of this end here. It took forever. What the hell? All right. We'll get this thing out of here somehow. I guess it's because um, this cleaning rod needs to stay perfectly straight. That's why it's, you know, the cardboard is so solid. And what do you know? Dewey cleaning rod. I don't know if I pronounce this right, Dewey. Like, it's like one guy from this stupid hospital show. Doogie, Doogie. <laughs> All right, so here's a cleaning rod and that's perfectly straight. I love it. You know, they tell you to do this, do the test, like roll it on the surface of a table before you buy it. I couldn't do that, but I trust, I trust Brownell's website there. 
and it looks good. It looks good. It's the, it's the right size. Yeah, sure is the right size. So, um, just to show you guys, that's my um, little UPS package I got. I'll put that to use. And can't wait to break this AR-15 in. All right, guys. See you later.